Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are diving into the San Francisco housing market, one of the hottest markets in the entire world, okay? People, when I'm telling you people love San Francisco, they love San Francisco. Now, San Francisco has been getting a lot of bad rap lately. They've had a horrible homelessness problem. They've had a horrible affordability problem. It is so expensive. Look, if you just, just look at this map, 1.8, 1.85, uh, 1.8, 1.5, 1.7. Okay, so you're definitely not going to find affordable housing. Now, I remember years ago, you could move into this section right by the ocean and it was very, very affordable because it's basically really, really cold in this area. And now jump uh, prices have definitely skyrocketed it basically in the, like the last five to 10 years. If you, this used to be the, mo this is the most expensive area up here. Uh, and followed by this area. Uh, this is a great city, but again, you know, they've been in the news a lot. They've had, you know, terrible homelessness problem. Um, and But you know what? It, the city is still pretty amazing. And, you know, uh, if they fix the some of their issues, you know, this city is definitely going to be back on top. But look, you know, I have the search set to um, homes that have been more than 90 days on Zillow because I'm really looking to get those, to look at homes with price cuts. You know, the longer homes sit on the market, you know, the longer they're going to uh, have more motivated uh, sellers. But look, I'm just not seeing any price cuts here. The Zillow search is not perfect. Oh, but here's here's this one. Look at this. Wow. That's like fairly affordable. Uh, they reduced it $13,000. The house is $455,000, three bedroom, two bath. Uh, 1100 almost 1200 square foot you might think like that's tiny but not really oh look at that 711 dollars monthly hoa fee oh that hurts but again 455 to live in the city three bedroom two bath and a you know 1100 square foot 1200 square foot house is not a bad deal guys house is completely moving ready completely move oh you know what I'm gonna have to save this one. I'm, I'm gonna, this looks nice. This looks awesome. Look, clean. It looks like this part is private, a little bit of grassy area. So it looks like you most most likely need a, a key to get into the building in general. And they have that little patio for people. This is a good find, guys. Uh, I know for, to a lot of people, they might be like 455 for, you know, 1200 square foot. You, uh, foot. You're crazy. But again, guys, it's San Francisco. And they're motivated, 1,300 square foot, guys. That's sort of a big deal. Again, if you're in the market in uh, in San Francisco, you're looking to buy a house. I mean, there's there's definitely some movement um, now in the news. And I've been looking in general. Prices have not come down that much, unfortunately. This is one of the places that you know it's hot always. It's like New York City. It's look. I'm not even seeing that many price cuts. What is going on here? Um, I'm just going to keep scrolling, but basically, wow, San Francisco is on fire. I'm just going to pick one out real quick. Um, you know, the look, let's see what $6,800,000 gets you. So this is actually in a very nice neighborhood, very expensive. Look, this is for <laughs> Jesus. 4,000 square foot, four bedroom, four bathroom for almost $7 million. You know what your down payment is going to be for something like this? This is definitely only for the richest of the rich. I'm sure you get access possibly to one of these little, um, well, probably not. But if you can afford a $7 million house, you could also afford a really nice boat. Could you imagine getting out of your house, walking the street and jumping into your uh, boat? Look at this. This is insane, guys. This is definitely living in the nice part of town, the inside. I mean, yeah, okay, so it's $8 million. Obviously, it's ready to go. This is for someone who has a lot of money, and it's absolutely beautiful. But look at this. You walk into your backyard, and you got all these people looking at you. You know, and, now, and again, this is a $7 million house, right? So don't like that. I guess if I had $7 million, I would want to keep looking at other houses, but the front of the house, look at that. You wake up, you basically get on your boat, uh, and you go out for a nice uh, nice ride, right? A nice boating day. The bathroom, again, what you would expect um, from a $8 million house, 
seven million dollar house it's all ready to go it's super duper nice even the guitars are high-end martin these are really expensive guitars on top of that uh imagine that being your office wouldn't that be nice uh, because let me tell you something, uh, if you want to live here, you're going to have to work your ass off. So you're probably going to be living in that office. Although I got to wonder, you know, someone who could afford a, a $7 million house, are, how hard are they really working, right? You got to wonder that. Is it family money? Look at that staircase. Wow. Insane. Again, very nice, uh, very expensive, but I'm not seeing that those price cuts, guys. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of houses and, and nobody is in the market to uh to do a price cut in san francisco this is pretty pretty insane this goes to show that this is still a very hot market i guarantee you if i opened it up or if we go to oakland we would be seeing a lot of price cuts because nobody you know necessarily wants to live outside the city if you're moving to the bay area the place to be is the city that's where all the action is that's where all the fun is right um you know, I'm sorry, guys, there's no, there's none. There's no homes with price cuts. Okay, here, finally, I got one. Uh, $100,000 off this $800,000 uh, home, 1,800 square foot, pretty nice, five bedroom, doesn't tell you the amount of baths, but it looks like it's in a janky part of town. Um, you know, you got this whole mural there. I don't know about that. Don't like the gates, don't like this. But once you go inside, it looks pretty nice. Actually, the inside of the house looks pretty pretty cool. Um, very common in San Francisco, just not that much ki kitchen space, <laughs> you know, right? This is where you're gonna have to cook your whole turkey, but that's city living, guys. Actually, no, the, the kitchen actually does kind of open up a little bit more. Uh, so 800,000, um, ooh, look at that backyard. Uh, not much of a backyard, I guess. You're living close to, where is this, Valencia. So it seems like a, a semi-busy street, which is something that you, know, you, that you move to the city for. To be able to walk out of your house and you know, be immersed in the city, that's the, that's the draw, right? This is actually not a bad house, but you know, $800,000, it's not that bad. I just really hate this back part. Ugh, I don't know about that. But you know, it's not cheap, it's not a cheap house. But maybe that's why they shaved off $100,000 because maybe it's not as desirable as, you know, as, as some would think. And basically, they're more motivated and they're like, hey, just, you know, shave, shave some money. Shave, shave it off. Look at this. $50,000 off a $450,000 um, uh, $450,000. Uh, we have uh, almost $500 HOA fees. It doesn't, it tells you, oh. Geez, this is just one room. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. So a studio for five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. No thanks. But look at that view. Pretty, pretty insane. I think that's Alcatraz right there. Yeah. So you're paying for location. A studio for five fifty seems really, really expensive. If you got the money though uh, for a second home, that would be pretty sick. You know, you fly into the city and you go into your own studio if you could afford it. But yeah, in general, I am not seeing any any price cuts, guys. This sucks. But let me finish this video with this insane, insane house for $16 million. So $16 million is going to get you almost uh, 9,000 square foot, six bedroom, six bath in, uh, in a really nice part of town. This is a very, very nice part of town. One of the nicest part of town parts in the city uh, but not necessarily like here's the problem you move in here let's say you could afford it you're not in the walking area right you're not in the busy area you're not going to walk out of your house and and get a coffee right although if you could afford 16 million dollars you could have your own butler you're going to have your own chef and whatever to get you whatever you want whenever you want i could tell you right off the bat hate the black and white that's just me personal uh, you could always paint it again if you could afford it you're gonna definitely paint it. Hate, hate the black and white. Don't like it at all. Um, and then to throw in gold on top of that, don't like it, not my style. I would walk in and basically repaint. What's up with this soccer ball just sitting there? That's interesting. Uh, well, that's what kind of backyard you get for $16 million, I guess. 
uh, not much of a backyard. The kitchen is, I guess, what you would expect from a house like this. Look, like almost, you have like very, like almost just not a lot of house, not a lot of backyard. Um, I do like the black here on the pool room. It does sort of fit, but the yellow looks awful. It looks like, uh, wow, wow, look at this workout room, huh? <laughs> That's 16 million bucks. I'm not feeling it at all. Um, I'm just not feeling it. It's what I, I'm not, I don't even want to end the video with that. I want to end the video with this one. This one looks pretty, pretty cool. Look, this one's more in the city. This is almost $14 million, 4,500 square foot, five bedroom, eight bathroom, definitely a big house. Look at that rooftop. Insane with its own little apartment. This is okay. Like I know it's, you know, almost $14 million. I get it. That's a lot of money, but you do get a lot of house here. Um, so if you do win the mega, the Powerball, whatever, mega millions, uh, I would definitely call your real estate agent and put an offer on this house. Don't like the staircase. I would probably build an elevator. Again, you have, you could afford $13 million. You could afford an elevator in the house. Um, and like the wine cellar, cellar looks good. Definitely an awesome, awesome house with an awesome, awesome view of the city. There's Alcatraz right there. You know you're in a good part of the city if you could see that. Uh, ready to go, man. This house is definitely ready to go. But the main attraction is this top floor with this like, uh, you know, one bedroom or like this loft area that feeds into this outside area. Super, super awesome. Uh, and yeah, you just basically come out here. I, You know, if I owned this house, I would be doing this video from this rooftop. You guys would probably be hearing all the traffic down there. And I would be like, hey, tough, tough shit, man. Like, we're going to do this like this. And uh, because I could not, I would not leave this rooftop. I would like basically live here. Super, super awesome. Here's the only drawback, unfortunately. Wow. Look at the, this house comes with a server room, guys. That's when you know that you have an expensive house when it literally comes with its own computer. Okay. This house... <laughs> That's insane. This house comes with a computer. Okay, so pretty cool. I've never seen this. I I have never seen that. Uh, this is a water heater like no other. Uh, my water heater at my house does not look like this. I have no idea what this is right here. But, you know, I got to tell you, when, uh, when a realtor takes a picture of this is basically because they are definitely proud of this. I would... Uh, as a guy, I would come in here and I would just stare at this and I'd be like, I don't care about the rest of the house. Just talk to me about this room right here. Uh, but I'm geeky like this. Look at this. There you go. You got your Tesla battery. You got more electronics. Insane. House is insane. Again, $14 million. I feel like, um, I feel like making an offer, although uh, I can't afford it, but I, I just, I have... Definitely getting a strong connection to this house, guys. Uh, I want it. I want it. I want it like right now. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to figure out how to come up with the down payment and make uh, the mortgage payments on something like this. But love this house. Absolutely. All right, guys, I am going to finish this video. I want to say to everybody who's been watching my videos and supporting my channel, thank you guys so much. It definitely does mean a lot to me. And uh, if you're new to my channel and you like what I have to say, if you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.